So this is unreal, this premiere. How yes. gorgeous is this? It's insane, honestly. I had no idea that this was going to be happening. And it's, I've, I have no words, honestly. It's, a, it's crazy. I know. You were so good in the film. It was brief, but it was epic. Tell me what it meant to you. Um, to me, I mean, it was amazing to honor, be able to honor my dad in that way and to be on the other side of the camera was honestly very interesting to experience. I've never, never actually went into it with zero training or anything. So yeah. it was, and honestly, thanks to Louis, he was the most patient with like, and John, who I'm in the scene with. Um, it was really fun, but it was a cool way to connect with my dad, and I'm really excited about that. Did Vin call you with the idea? How did it come about? Um, no, actually, I've been thinking about, like, I was kind of thinking about wanting to do a cameo in 9 or 10, and actually my dad's best friend, Brandon Bertel, who used to be a producer on the older films when my dad was working, he and I kind of got together and had a little powwow and decided we wanted to be like, very simple and very discreet and uh, simple, yeah. What do you think your dad would say? I honestly have no idea. I, <laughs> I think that he would... Obviously, be very proud, but at the same time, think it's funny because I think I know he never wanted me to like go into the entertainment business. So, <laughs> and I mean, like, I I express like it, like I now have models, so that's kind of in the same region yeah. of that. So I think I think he would be happy, but I still think he would be laughing at me. Oh my god! Well, I have to tell you, I think it's so gorgeous and beautiful how you continue to honor your dad, and for Thank the fans, you. it means so much. Yeah. Um, do you, do what does the fan base mean to you? Um. So it's cool. I mean, it's still kind of new to me to understand it, you know, and when everything, like a lot of the time it was just my father's fans and like that, that was amazing. But seeing now like um, young girls and stuff, especially like messaging me and, you know, like looking up to me, it's, um, it's quite insane. Like, and, you know, and I always want to, it's, it's really, really special. And I think, you know, I always want to be a good role model for everyone and um, be myself and be authentic because I think, in this industry, there's a lot of people who are scared to be authentic. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And finally, uh, Vin walked you down the aisle. Yes. Which was so beautiful. Yeah, that well, was so amazing. Yeah, what did that mean to you? Um, it was honestly quite crazy because I had, like, the wedding was not planned, and I was in, I was in Paris for Fashion Week, and I called Paloma, Vin's wife, and I was like, okay, like, I need help. I'm trying to plan a wedding. She was like, she's like, you're doing the shows, and you're, she's like, Oh my god, this is insane! And she's like, she's like, she's just like basically almost hung up on me. And then all of a sudden, it was like, I'm planning the wedding. And then I didn't know anything about the wedding. I, I literally flew from Paris to New York with my like dress, like it was custom made. I'm like carrying on the airplane, oh and then land in New York. And the next day, go to the Dominican Republic. And then I'm lying in a car like because I can't wrinkle my dress. Oh my and then I got out, and it was the whole thing was a surprise. Like I, this was beautiful wedding in the entire world. But I like didn't like she was I mean she was an angel and it was so beautiful and so special but. well I loved it we love seeing it and you look unbelievable what is this uh, I'm wearing Elia. Elia. Yeah. gorgeous thank enjoy you. tonight thank, thank you so much yeah. you look amazing thank you